what's taking place is there's clubs, it's an initiative put together by the four clubs, well five clubs because Monavay are normally involved in it yet but they're not with us yet this year. So what we do is we meet on a Thursday night and we play under 12s one week, we play under 11s the next week, 10s and 9s. Now what it is, it's all game based, there's play 15 minute games and everybody plays one another. Uh, the kids love it on the lights. It's increasing the numbers in the club. It's getting the kids from the schools to the clubs, which is what we're looking for. For Thursday night game, it frees up the lads in for Saturdays who are involved with other sports. Like we were suffering there with soccer there on a Saturday morning. We'd end up on a Saturday morning going to a place with eight or nine lads. You see there tonight now we had 19, which was brilliant. If we didn't go to a Thursday night, our numbers would be slow, very low. But uh, the benefits, I think, of myself going on the, on the midweek is that you're freeing up the parents, it's only an hour, in and out, and the clubs are all within 15, 20 minutes, and which is brilliant. They're coming at seven, gone at eight. And I think it's, it'll, it benefits us. It benefits us. And the kids enjoy it. They really enjoy it. Now, we, the game is all fast moving. There's no scrums, no line outs. It's just ball work we're working on. Speed. That's it. It's brilliant. There's one big difference between this and any other sport that you'll play. Uh, this is one of the only sports that, on a Thursday night, that these kids will have played under lights. And I know it sounds stupid to the likes of us, let's say, lads that have played under lights, and we've done this and done that, and we're adults and things like that. But if you watch a gang of kids that have come up here to Chum or to any other place and played under lights for the very first time in their life, to see them the following Saturday, and they're still talking about it three days later, did you, did you see it, and we're under lights, and, and it's this and that and the other, that is the thing that's really brought on numbers for us in Dunmore. It's not a case of having a big blitz and big expense and having to get in loads of volunteers and things like that. It's literally up here, get started at 7 o'clock and you're off the pitch by 8 o'clock. Parents are home and everything's fine and that's why it works. One of the major pluses that we didn't actually bargain for was that the parents come because the kids are it's on between 7 and 8 at night time. The rivalry is still as strong as ever on the field, but we're growing as a community off the field. The clubs are getting closer and closer together. So we can be, we can be as tough as we want on the field, but we get on well then off the, off the field. And they, the coordinators meet once a month then, and they organise the fixtures for the next month in advance. So there's great relationship building going on there as well.